Hi everyone. So today's activity is called a craft stick harmonica. So we're going to be able to make some music or some noise with these simple uh, materials. So the first thing you're going to need is some large craft sticks or large popsicle sticks, a straw, three rubber bands, and a pair of scissors. So how this starts is you're going to want to cut two pieces of your straw about an inch or an inch and a half long. And I already have two pieces cut, so I'm gonna use those two pieces. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take one rubber band and one craft stick or one popsicle stick and we're gonna stretch the rubber band right down the middle, okay? So you wanna make sure it's fairly tight. If your rubber band is too long and you <clears throat> and you have some slack in here, you're gonna wanna choose another one. So it needs to be a little bit tight. You wanna have some tension there. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our straws and we're gonna put it underneath the rubber band. So about a third of the way across, we're gonna put the rubber band on top of it so it's holding it in place. Then what we're gonna do is take the other popsicle stick and kind of put it on top. So you're gonna sandwich it on top, hold them together, take your other rubber band and you're gonna twist it around the end so it's nice and tight. And I'm just gonna move it towards the end a little bit like that. So now we want to put the other straw on in the middle, but we don't want to put it underneath the rubber band. We want to put it on top of the rubber band. So the first straw we placed on here was underneath the rubber band. This one is going to be on top. So I'm just going to move this and show you. We're just going to lay it right about there, about a third of the way down, a little bit less. Then I'm going to push that down and then again, take another rubber band and make it nice and tight. Okay, so you probably shouldn't be able to move these super easy. If we slide them, you can. So the straws are really only in there to produce a little bit of space in between the two popsicle sticks. So to use this, you're gonna put your mouth about here and blow air through there. You're not blowing air through the straws. The straws are pinched between the two popsicle sticks so it's not really gonna make any noise. So let me see if I can get some noise here. Hmm, didn't get anything this time. Let me adjust my rubber bands. I'm gonna push them in a little closer. Let's see. Nope, nothing yet. Hmm, nothing yet. So I'm gonna have to keep, let me just see. I'm going to try to see my rubber band is twisted. So let's just see if I make my rubber band straight, if that's going to make a difference here. So I'm going to put one there, put this on, try it again. So sometimes, maybe a lot of times when we try some of these STEM projects, things don't work out the first time. But part of the process is going back through and seeing where we can make some adjustments and problem solve. It makes you feel good when you can figure out what went wrong and then you learn from it. You learn, don't do that the next time. All right, let's see. So now that my rubber band is straight and it's not twisted on the inside, let's just see if that is gonna help. <coughs> Woo, that was a, that kind of sounded like a duck. So however, that did seem to solve my problem here. So make sure that your rubber band is flat because on the inside, my end was twisted on the inside. So when you're blowing air through the two popsicle sticks, that air is causing the rubber band in there to vibrate and vibrations make sound. So that was a very, maybe kind of high, kind of low sound, but we're gonna compare that to when I move the straws closer together because now the only part of the rubber band that's going to vibrate is the smaller piece in between the two straws the part on the outside isn't going to be able to vibrate so if i do that let's just see what sound that makes ah! okay that was a little bit higher so let me try it again if i move them out as far as they can go ah! okay so you could definitely hear the difference in sound so when the straws are moved further out toward the edges and our rubber band in between, which I know we can't see in between here, but it's about from here to here long, that 
vibration has a longer path to follow. So those sound waves are higher, which means that the sound is going to be a lower sound. Okay, so I'll make that sound again. Okay, now kind of sounds like a party blower. I'm gonna move this in. So this time, the sound vibrations have, the sound waves have a smaller area to move in. They're gonna be much tighter together and make a much higher pitch sound. So it's much higher. The other thing that could affect your sound is the tension of your rubber band. So tension meaning how tight it is. So you might be able to put a rubber band that's a little smaller around the length of your popsicle stick and get a different sound compared to this rubber band. So there's different variables that you can try and change. Maybe try the length of your straw and see if that makes a difference um, or a different type of straw, one that might be a little bit thicker. So it might have your popsicle sticks a little closer, a little farther away. So there's a few different things you can try. Make a few of these and see if you can test out your sounds. Um, so I hope you enjoy this one, Craft Stick Harmonica.